major funding for Camera 3 was provided by Atlantic Richfield Company. Additional funding was provided by the National Endowment for the Arts. embodiment of classic dance of Cambodia in one of their last performances. This thousand-year-old art form flourished under the patronage of the Cambodian royal family. As that ancient house was systematically destroyed by successive governments in the last decade, the very existence of this art was threatened. Now it is finished, and the surviving dancers are dispersed and living in exile all over the world. This performance and demonstration were held for Camera 3 at just as the end neared. Fobian Bowers, author of Theatre in the East and leading authority on Asian dance and music, asked the group to document two of their classic masterpieces and explain their technique and training so that posterity need never forget.
flowers. Queen of the Osteras herself. Which quickens the heart of all men. The Queen of the Apsaras, which you just saw, was performed by Buan Savai, one of the leading stars of the Cambodian ballet. It's my great pleasure to introduce her to you today. I'm going to ask her how she became a dancer. Comment êtes-vous dancers? When I was 10, my mother took me to see a rehearsal at the palace. And I was intoxicated with the dance. And wanted to become a dancer. But my uh, parents objected. My father said, who will marry a woman who leads such an irregular life as a dancer? But I cried, and I played hooky from school and ran to the palace every day. And finally, when I was 11, they let me join the palace school, and I stopped studies. And uh, when I was uh, 15, I made my debut. And then when I was 17, I became a uh, leading dancer, and now I'm 18. Et what is the daily life of a uh, dancer today, la vie quotidienne? 
I work uh, at the uh, uh, school. The, the teacher uh, trains my hands. And I do technics. And then in the afternoon, I do general studies. Mathematics, French, geography. And then in the evening, if I have any free time, if I'm not performing in the theater or at Encore, uh, then I uh, help my mother cook, I iron clothes, and I babysit for my uh, uh, younger brothers and sisters. Et quels sont les exercices? What exercises do you do? First of all, the teacher trains the fingers to bend the fingers back until they touch the top of the wrist. question of the elbow, how to get the height of the Cambodian dance and at the same time to uh, bend the fingers so that they arch. And the back. The back is essential because in playing goddess roles, being an apsara, the arch, the curve of the back uh, gives the sense of flight, of something supernatural. And then paramount in uh, Cambodian dance is balance. And this is an exercise. to point to a king or a god. A deer. A deer. Uh, now show me a sentence in Cambodian dance. Fait ma une phrase. Donado. to leave. 